when day of judgment comes and the first trumpet is blown, people will be busy in their daily activities, completely oblivious to what is about to come. There will be no chance for anyone to give any instruction, leave any will, or for people to even return to their houses. And we find examples in various hadiths on how sudden the qiyamah will be. Narrated by Abu Hurairah and Bukhari, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi said in a long narration, a part of it is describing the different activities people will be busy with when qiyamah happens. وَلَتَقُومَ النَّسَّاعَةُ وَقَدْ نَشَرَ الرَّجُلَانِ ثَوْبَهُمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فَلَا يَتَبَايَعَانِهِ وَلَا يَطُوِيَانِهِ وَلَتَقُومَ النَّسَّاعَةُ وَقَدْ انصَرَفَ الرَّجُلُ بِاللَّبَنِ لِقْحَتِهِ فَلَا يَطْعَمُهُ وَلَتَقُومَ النَّسَّاعَةُ وَهُوَ يَلِيدُ حَوْضَهُ فَلَا يَسْقِي فِيهِ وَلَتَقُومَ النَّسَّاعَةُ وَقَدْ رَفَعَ أُكْلَتَهُ إِلَى فِيهِ وَلَا يَطْعَمُهَا the hour will be established so suddenly that two persons spreading a garment between them will not be able to finish their bargain, nor will they be able to fold it up. The hour will be established while a man is carrying the milk of his she-camel but cannot drink it. And the hour will be established when someone is not able to prepare the tank to water his livestock from it. And the hour will be established when some of you have raised his food to his mouth but cannot eat it. Allahu Akbar. Such will be the sudden event of Qiyamah. And if you think about your daily life, the Qiyamah starts when, when your death happens. So same thing, that could occur so suddenly that you would not be even ready for it. You won't be able to take the next step. And that's how we should live in our daily living. We should have that mindset. It can happen to us anytime. So are we ready for it?